Today, I want to talk about trends that are coming in 2024. And some of these are going to be spring items. And then some of them you'll see are winter items because I couldn't find spring images yet for some of these. But I really wanted to talk about these because some of them are new iterations of what is already going on. And then some of them are really new. And I think some of them will surprise you like they did me. So if you love this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing and remember to love your neighbor and be kind. So this one is kind of a new trend, but kind of not because you have seen this on the runways, but you haven't really seen a ton of it in stores. And supposedly it's going to be really big in 2024. And that is your elevated peplums. And I love a good peplum as long as the proportions are good on your body, because sometimes they can be a little too short. So the waistline is kind of shrunk, but the ones that I am seeing are actually more elongated. And there's all kinds of different options that I think are going to be a lot of fun. And the peplums are not only going to be in tops, but they're also going to be in jackets and blazers. And so I had a few options that I wanted to show you that I've already seen because this trend has kind of started, but I don't know that everybody has picked up on it. So this one I hope is going to be really big in the spring and summer because I do think this is very flattering. But the jackets and the blazers are just really cool. And the blazers just have a lot more shape. So when they come in in the waist and then have that line that comes out, that A line, it can be really flattering and flattering on a lot of different body shapes. So this is definitely one to consider, or if you have pep a peplum top or something from years ago, definitely pull it out because I think this is going to be a big trend for 2024. This next trend I'm calling the sweater scarf because you're actually replacing your scarves for a sweater. So your accessories that you would wear, even a necklace, you might want to just replace it with a sweater as your accessory. And I thought that was really interesting so they're showing this trend on the runways. They were tied around the neck or across the body. And I just thought it was interesting that this is a very classic look that uh, people have done a lot. And we have seen in a lot of the trends that are coming in style that a lot of the classic looks are now on trend again. So I thought this one was great. I love this. I already like doing this anyway. So I would love to know what you think. I'm going to call this one corset lacing, although it is not on corsets, but that gives you kind of a picture of what I'm talking about. And the lacing is just taking, um, you know, a tie or something and lacing it into the clothing, whether you do it on the side or whether you do it at the collar. But there's going to be a big surge of the lacing, which I thought was interesting. When I first saw it, I thought they were talking about lace because lace has been a really big style, but it's actually corset lacing. So you're seeing the crisscross pattern and the ties and this is going to be a big trend and I think we'll see it on a lot of different things not corsets because corsets have been in style but they're moving these to more of your everyday easy to wear clothing and so I think this one is going to be an easy very wearable trend for 2024. So one trend that has been going very strong on the runways for the past few seasons is sheer clothing and a lot of it is so sheer and they have no undergarments on so you're just kind of naked underneath and I don't think that really translates very well to mainstream fashion. And so now they are still doing sheer clothing. They're just doing it a little bit more modest. So this is the modest sheer section. And this is where they're layering more of organza materials. So instead of just having one panel, you've got multiple multiple layers of the organza that gives you a little bit more coverage. And then there's going to be a lot of dresses that are sheer, but have a slip lining underneath. And they might have layered ruffles or something on them because a lot of the detailing is still really big right now. So uh, I thought this was a better version of what we have been seeing off the runway shows of all of this sheer clothing that is just uh, something that not that most people are not going to wear. So um, definitely going to be a little bit better in the spring and summer of 2024. So I want to talk about a color trend for a minute. Although I do a color trends video, I wanted to mention this one because I saw that blue was going to be a very big color for spring and summer. And if you look at the Pantone Color Institute's predictions, you will see that there are three shades of blue. You have chambray blue, marlin, and then capri, which are all different blues. So I think we're going to see a mixture and you'll have a lot to choose from whether you like a brighter blue or a more turquoise blue or a pastel. And I love this because I love blue and 
sometimes it's not always available. So you will see that this will probably be a big color in the spring and summer of 2024. So there has been so much talk about silver being the trend for 2023. And so moving into 2024, supposedly it's going to be gold metallics. So you're gonna find gold metallics on everything just like you did silver. I still think we're going to see silver, but I'm glad the gold is back. I actually like gold a lot better. And hey, you can mix your gold and your silver if you want to, but there are a lot of options already that I have seen for fall and winter out there in dresses and tops and things like that. So, you know, we're going to see a lot of it more in the spring and summer, and you'll see it in like your handbags and accessories too that are your everyday because metallics are just a really big trend right now in accessories and in clothing. So I've already talked about this trend the past few seasons, and I absolutely love it. And I've actually gotten into it the past few seasons, and that's belts. And I talked about for fall and winter that you were seeing a lot of the really big buckle belts, but for spring, summer 2024, they were showing a lot of skinny belts and a lot of skinny wrap belts. So I think this is a good option for over your dresses or even some of your jackets, just to give a little bit of a different look, a little bit more of an update. If you're just kind of bored, that is a good and very inexpensive way to make an outfit look different. So if you haven't tried a belt in years and um, not sure if you can wear them, definitely give them a try for 2024. So this next trend is the one that really surprised me and that is capri pants. So there were models wearing capri pre pants on the runway shows that actually stopped below the knee and were skinny to the body. And I just thought this was really interesting because this is something that a lot of people say, don't wear because it makes you look old. Um, but I think for the spring and summer, if you want to wear something like this, just modernize it a bit. Uh, you're not going to wear it with what we used to wear capri pants with, longer tops, maybe tunics, things like that. Um, you're going to try something different. So uh, maybe a cute little peplum top with it or or, um, a refined bomber jacket because bomber jackets are still going to be very big. So you're going to kind of mix things in to make them look a little bit more modern, but the Capri pant surprised me and I would love to know what you think of this one. I have talked a lot about midi skirts and maxi skirts on my channel because that has been the biggest trend in fashion for the past year. But moving into 2024, you're going to see a lot of the knee length pencil skirts and they have already started to trend a little bit and I think they're probably going to be pushing them a lot more in 2024. And you'll probably see them in denim skirts, casual skirts, and then in suiting. And I think this is a great option and I still think you'll have the midi and maxi option and probably even the mini. So probably just anything goes, but this is a new trend that's coming up. So you might see a lot more of it. So this one will be no surprise to you. And it's the elevated belt bag. So belt bags have been on trend for a while. And that trend started really with the more athleisure clothing. And now it has moved into everyday bags. So bags that you can wear with your casual outfits and even maybe your dressed up outfits if you want to, but they're usually not worn around the waist. Usually you put them across the body but if you are a little dressed up you would want to do it around the waist but you can find these in leather which I actually got a leather one after I got my Lululemon one I just loved it and decided to get one to wear a little bit more casually but they're showing beaded ones and ones that have all kinds of embellishments and things on them just to make them a little bit more elevated so I don't know if you love a belt bag if you do let me know in the comments because I do I just think they're functional and they're cute but if you don't that's okay. That's a trend. There will be lots of other handbag trends that you will have the option to do. This next trend I have seen called polar opposite. So that's what I want to call it because I think it makes total sense. It's when you take very opposite styles and put them together in an outfit. So you're either taking a bomber jacket or moto jacket and putting it with a really feminine skirt or dress. And I really love this. I love opposite um, styles put together. I think it makes an outfit a little bit more interesting and supposedly it's going to be a big trend for 2024. So hopefully we can all learn how to put some of these pieces that are either edgy and classic or feminine or masculine and marry them together and make a perfect outfit. A trend that is supposedly making a big comeback in 2024 is leggings. And I'm not really sure about this one. I love just a basic legging around the house, but I don't really style them to go out. But these are more elevated leggings that they're saying are going to be big, which I haven't seen a lot of. I have seen the stirrup leggings, which I think are a big 80s trend that has been on trend for a little while. But these are more of like, 
your cropped leggings that might have some lacing on them or even some bows, some embellishments. And, you know, you're just doing some more interesting things with them and dressing them up a bit. And I don't know if I love this trend for, you know, mainstream fashion. I definitely think it would be a great street style option. So I would love to know in the comments what you think. So that is definitely a short list of what will be going on in 2024 as far as trends go. So stay tuned. I'll have more content coming on trends and even the color trends, which I think are going to be great for spring and summer. And I always look forward to them, which is why I try to start this a little bit early. And if you're interested in anything in the video, it will be linked in the description, or you might see it through the YouTube links. If you don't, and there's something you're interested in, or if you have any questions, do not be afraid to leave it in the comments. I will answer. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing and I will talk to you next time.